afternoon, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floors, November 29, 2011. Uh, as far as the grains today, we did have a strong start uh, of the day, and uh, we started off very strong with all the outside markets looking good once again for a second consecutive day. The dollar was down, crude oil was up, and it gave investors uh, some confidence to come in and, and try to buy these grains that have been oversold. Uh, really what happened today was wheat. Wheat was the, was the leader, up about 19 and three quarter cents for wheat. Uh, putting that uh, that's back at 616 beans finishing only four higher corn only six and a quarter higher and I say only because we were we were well off of the highs that we had beans about 13 off of their highs uh, corn coming off of their highs uh, by about uh, 10 to 12 cents so we did peel back uh, but the big push was wheat and as I mentioned you know that's that's been the chatter today and probably and could be the chatter here for the next while um, that the funds right now are short wheat and some of the stir that was going on as far as that was that we're going to see them end up we're going to see the funds end up getting out of some of their short positions uh, in in front of uh, rebalancing um, ahead of the first of the year so if we're going to see some of these guys that have been short wheat for a while getting out just even just getting out of positions we're going to find some support for wheat, which in turn could support corn and beans as well. Um, but that chatter early on really didn't help out corn and beans as we got closer to the close. Okay, we took corn up to some resistance, bean up to some resistance, and um, you know, we really need to see some demand come in, and we need to see good export sales on Thursday. Uh, if we don't see these good export sales, we could see, at least for corn and beans, uh, a pretty good, uh, pretty sharp pullback again, probably down to the areas that we just came from. Uh, but that has been demand has been the term that guys have been throwing around for the last uh, the last few weeks, and we really need to see some of that start to build at these levels. Now that we've seen the price break, uh, we'll see if we're going to get some demand right now as well. So something to watch for grains. Uh, first, the wheat. It's going to be guys a little nervous. Uh, about being short right now ahead of some rebalancing from funds and then of course the, uh, the uh, export sales this week and that's going to be on Thursday. As far as crude oil, as I mentioned, very strong today, up uh, up dollar sixty one, so very strong move there, putting crude right near that $100 mark, uh, 99.80 and um, we've got uh, some good resistance right above us at this $100 area, uh, but we'll see if this strength can continue. Pretty strong close today and uh, but not only that, the dollar being down, that's going to help commodities right now. It was sharply lower yesterday. Dollar dropping another 31 cents right now, uh, putting that at 79.12. Uh, that's got uh, the market, uh, at least the commodities, pretty hyped up, uh, and has some guys uh, buying back some of their short positions right now. Stocks, we got stock market up about 65 points. Big day yesterday, finding more strength today. We'll see if that can hold its strength going into the close today. But uh, but we've had a lot of this economic news out of Europe that's been more stabilizing for the euro. That is what, that's what's got the dollar pulling back slightly. Um, but if we continue to hear some positive talk uh, across the pond, uh, we should end up seeing the dollar back off a little more, which in turn maybe give a little strength going into the end of the year yet for stocks. As far as metals, a uh, relatively quiet day. Gold up about 6 bucks. Putting that at 1717, uh, so still remaining above that 1700 level. Uh, silver down about 20 points today, uh, and uh, and that's right near 32 bucks. So still within a range yet for silver as it gets closer to 30. Guys are using that as some support. And as we get closer to that 33 to 34, uh, that has been resistance. So we'll keep an eye on those levels. Soft markets, a big turnaround day today for cotton. Cotton's been in a sharp downtrend. Uh, we did finish cotton about 139 points higher, but more than four dollars off of its lows today, or four cents, I should say, off the lows today. Uh, but a very big move, and uh, we'll see if that can continue. Uh, a lot of guys are looking a little bit friendlier as far as fundamentals on cotton, and that could get uh, could spark some buying interest now that we've seen that market depressed for quite some time now. Sugar, strong move in sugar. That's another soft market that has been in a severe downtrend, uh, but a very uh, good last couple days and a stronger move yet again today, 
giving a little confidence maybe to get a little extra boost yet for sugar uh, over the next week. As far as livestock, relatively quiet. Fat cattle down 20. Feeders up about 22 for January. Um, and the hogs up about 40 cents. So we are, we found a little bit quieter trade than what we've seen in the past few days for livestock. Uh, really, as far as fats, uh, we had box beef that was mixed here today. Um, a lot of economic questions still out there, and that's going to keep uh, the market on edge. Uh, but maybe some, a supportive factor is that we do have a snowstorm that guys are watching uh, coming at the end of this week, and that might find some support yet for this cattle uh, later on this week. Uh, as far as hogs, we did have uh, the morning markets up a little bit. We'll see if cash, uh, if we could see some stronger trade here this afternoon yet too, but um, that's given some support yet for hogs at these levels. Uh, give us a call with any questions that you have, 800-262-7538. Uh, we've got a lot of this information right on our website and on our research center at allendale-inc.com. Hope you guys had a, had a great day today and have a great rest of the week. Take care.